Sadly, DJI have not released the simulator for Android, and as I have an Android phone, I've got no way to use the simulator. But I'd still like to try out manual mode. So today, I'm going to be um, changing the setting, enabling manual mode, and seeing what happens. Hello, I'm Ian, I play with drones, and as you know, this week I am playing with the DJI FPV. So uh, my first flight went pretty well. Uh, yesterday I got to grips with the motion controller and that was absolutely insane fun. Like, uh, as I said, flying a jet-powered helicopter, basically. Um, I want to try manual mode, um, only because I want to try out all of the capabilities of this drone. Um, as you know, I am not an experienced FPV flyer at all. Um, and I know that manual has an awful lot of um, different characteristics. So for a start, the, um, the sticks, uh, instead of being zero at the center, they're actually zero when they're down. And that's one of the reasons why DJI recommend that you peel off the back and adjust the um, spring tensioner to make sure that there's no center correction. What I'm gonna do though, because I can't practice in the simulator, is I'm gonna take off in normal mode, and then I'm gonna actually switch to manual mode up in um, when I'm actually flying, uh, what could possibly go wrong? Well, uh, for a start, as I said, uh, leaving the sticks in this uh, position, I will straight away be on 50% uh, throttle. So there's gonna be a lot of unexpected behavior here. So one of the key things that um, I'm gonna keep hold of is the emergency brake button, the pause. No matter what mode you're in, you can press that and it will just stop. And that is probably gonna be my friend today in case I get into difficulty. There's also one of the settings that you can go through and um, by default, the attitude limit is uh, set to, well, being limited basically, stops the drone from doing full 360s and going right up and over itself, which can be very disorientating. And I am leaving that set today. Um, so it's literally one step at a time. So I'm gonna go into manual mode, but I will not be able to go a complete loop the loop, which is where you can often get into trouble. Now by default, manual mode is disabled on the um, adjuster button. You've actually got to go into the settings and you toggle along and then you can actually enable uh, manual mode. Its default state is uh, sports mode. So basically you have uh, normal, sports and sports. But if you go through the settings, as you can see here, then you can actually enable manual mode. And that is what I've done this morning. So now I should be able to say, take off in normal mode and then when it's up in the air, flip it into manual and see what happens. Right, a <clears throat> couple of points as well. People have said, make sure you put the goggles uh, face down when, um, when it's sunny, uh, never expose the lens to the sunshine because apparently it can do a lot of damage to the screen. So little tip for you there. I'm still struggling to find a way to um, show you the output. Um, tethering uh, a phone isn't gonna be any good, unfortunately. All that does is give you another view of the camera output, but it doesn't give you any of the app settings as well. So what I'm probably gonna do today is uh, I'll do this in um, manual mode, then I'll recharge the battery later on, and then I'll do another flight with the GoPro sitting on the lens so you can at least get to see what, um, what it looks like, as long as it's not crashed. Right, anyway, let's get going. Okay, 100% battery, that's what I like to see. Just waiting for the GPS, 14, normal mode. Okay, home point updated, let's go. Okay, here we go. So, like I said, when I flip to manual, this will be the button I'm going to be holding on to. Anyway, for now, Not sure whether this will come out, but uh, another setting, you can change the LEDs on the arm. So today I have gone for random colors that will change, uh, whatever floats your boat. <clears throat> right. Okay, so he's hovering now. 
put these on. So that's me up in normal mode. Let's flip to manual and see what happens. Sports and manual mode. Right, so actually, there we go. So I already have, it's already just lifting up by itself. Very disorientating. Uh, okay, so there's no G right. That's it. God, that is madly disorientating. Because basically, no matter what you do, there we go. Right. Let's. When you let go, you're still drifting. Wow. Very, 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 uh, let's go over. As long as you can see the ground and you can see what you're doing, then it is just like steering with two steering wheels, basically. But then that's what happens. All right, I panic there and I press brake because that's what happens. You get completely disorientated. So let's try and gather our thoughts. Just got my bearings to get into sports mode. Let's go back down. Let's come back over the field. Let's try again now, go into manual mode. No, I'm unable to get into manual mode this time. Okay, you've got to hold the uh, throttle stick in the little green. Oh, there we go, we're going up. Right, okay, get it. Let's put the gimbal down so we can see what we're doing. Right, so when you do switch into manual mode there's a little green it's very very intuitive they give you a little green uh they give you a picture of the crosshairs of the left stick and you actually have to move the stick to the green section so that it shows that you've got the stick roughly in the right area all right so let's carry on flying now there we go And go over here away from the village don't want to annoy all my neighbors there we go uh, that's it And then, yeah, I can see why they're saying to release the uh, tension springs because it actually makes life a lot harder for you. You're always doing something even when you let go. So this is not a very pretty flight. Just to let you know you don't have a pause over there again. Right, let's try again. Switch to manual mode. Okay, right. That's it. So when you when you do the when you when you're doing the uh, tilt there, right? That's that's the issue, right? You've got to keep level and stay level. Crazy, crazy, crazy flight. All right. Go down a little bit. I hit my 100 meter max. 
Right, let's go forward. Okay, it jumps back into normal mode if it's decided that it's not happy with what you're doing, which is quite good. All right, let's go back to, there we go. We're back into manual mode again. Just have a quick, very 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 confusing right so the moment you hit the brake you jump back into normal mode which is handy <clears throat> so again let's just try one more time because I'm 28 battery the rate return to home is going to kick in any second okay Okay, 24, battery. All right, I've hit the return to home battery. <clears throat> Bit of a shame, not sure how much flight time I had there. What's the recording saying? 10 minutes and 18 seconds, okay. So it's getting better actually. <clears throat> Every day I get a slightly longer flight. Okay, let's get him landed. Okay, I'd be lying if I said that was fun. <laughs> right, if in doubt, get a cup of tea, always sort you out. Um, so I have to say that was actually a very uncomfortable flight. I suppose it's good to have your limits pushed, but uh, there's no doubt that flipping it into manual mode uh, completely changes the controls from any way that a, a normal GPS stabilized drone flyer would be used to. Um, I kind of understand now uh, all of the urge and caution that was being uh, given by some of my colleagues on the uh, Grey Hours Drone Forum this morning and uh, talking about making use of simulators. But um, like I said, unfortunately, DJI Simulator isn't available on Android. So um, how can I describe it? Well, it's actually very good. I mean, once you flip the switch into manual mode, you don't actually go into manual mode straight away. Uh, little crosshairs pop up on the goggles and you actually have to move the left stick down into the, there's a little green zone, 20 to 40%. And once you've moved the left throttle down into uh, that zone, then it will flip into manual mode. So every step of the way is trying to help you out basically. And um, you're dead. And, uh, trying to help you cope with the difference of, of controls. So the moment you do go into manual mode, then yeah, pretty much all hell breaks loose, to be honest, because the drone starts behaving in absolutely uh, a completely unpredictable way. Um, you will start swooping, you will start diving, and it's very easy to get disorientated very quickly. Uh, what I found is that actually um, very, very light, gentle touches on the sticks eventually let you regain control and then you can work out what little movements on the sticks actually do. So in a way you're practicing with it high up in the air and there's no doubt that being up high, being up around 80 to 100 meters is absolutely your friend here because a couple of times I swooped right down and hit, got right down to about 40 meters in a matter of seconds and I had to hit the brake a couple of times as well. So it's far from ideal. You really want to be, uh, you know, if you're lucky like me, that surrounded by farmland, you want to be somewhere where you can uh, practice over um, a field and, um, and get used to how the, uh, the sticks behave. But look, um, there's no doubt that it's got fantastic potential and I really, really want to get uh, more, uh, more proficient at actually using the controls. It is a completely different way of driving i guess if you've uh, only driven an automatic all your life then getting in 
to a stick shift uh, manual car would be uh, quite quite the same thing really. Um, swap the accelerator and brake over and turn the steering wheel upside down and you're getting close to how I was feeling up there. But uh, anyway look, uh, lovely sunny afternoon so now I can actually have a bit more practice and that's exactly what I'll, uh, I'll do. Um, yeah, as ever, if you are going to uh, try manual mode out, follow my advice, get up high, be ready to hit that brake button, be ready to hit the, uh, the, the flip it back into normal mode and um, yeah, take it very, very easily. Anyway, look, as ever, you know the drill, little thumbs up, really always helps the course, uh, hit sub ding dong, get notified when the next instalment of this FPV saga uh, gets uploaded. But uh, for now, I'm going to enjoy the sun. Anyway, uh, hope you're staying safe and sane. Till next time, have fun, happy flying. But I get up.